Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this is Vanilla Sky's development update number two. So in this one, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be short, but I thought I would take a video to explain how I made um, this all work. And also, stuff like maybe, say, this, like that. I know it looks exactly the same, but there's actually a lot more going on there. I could even put it on top of a wall. It still knows what to do. There is a lot more going on there than it seems like there is. First of all, uh, what's actually going on here is this is a sheep spawn egg, right? So when I'm clicking, what's actually happening is... Let me find a sheep spawn egg. It's just spawning in a sheep, right? Just like a normal sheep. But the thing is... Actually, hold on a second. Uh, let me just fix something. There we go. So now you can hear the game audio. Um, the sheep, one, compared to this sheep, you only see it for a split second, and it's always a baby sheep. And that's because this spawn egg has some custom NVT data. Let me quickly grab the command for, like, all that NVT data in the egg. Here it is. And you can see that this is a very, very long command. It actually keeps going for a while, all right? I can keep going like this. And this is all the stuff. So we can see it has custom model data, and that's what makes it look like the barrel, because it has a custom model data of one. Then we can see its display name is composting barrel. And it says right here, I'm going to highlight it, it says italic colon false. And what that does is it gets rid of the italics that would like normally appear if you renamed an item. Right? Let me let me grab an anvil re, uh, really quick. Right, and let's just say I named this to like blah, uh, whatever. See, it's in italics, but this one doesn't have the italics, and that's what that bit of code right there does. Then next, there's um, this, which is entity tag, which is the data of the thing that spawned in itself, and it has a custom name of nothing. Which, now that I think about it, I don't need that code, do I? Hmm. Yeah, I don't need that code. Hmm. Good thing I noticed that. I can get rid of it now. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, though. Um, it's silent, has no AI and no gravity, which means it doesn't move. Its age is negative 100, which means when it spawns in, it's going to be a baby. And then it just has some tags saying that uh, this is information that I use in the code later when I determine uh, where it can be placed and stuff. And then this VSB temp is just saying that it's a temporary thing. As soon as it spawns in, despawn it once you run all the code needed to test um, if it needs to be placed or not. Yeah. So now that I've explained how that works roughly, um, I'm going to move on to explaining what actually goes on each time I place. But to do that, I'm going to have to um, switch over to my program for text. This might take me a second. I don't actually know if I can do this live, so I might cut out here. Okay, here we are with um, the code. It did take me a second to figure out how to get it to record the program, um, but here we are. So this is the line that we're gonna be focusing on, this right here, this placing custom blocks, this line of code right here. This is generally how it works, so see, it's going to be executing at those sheep with the tag uh, VSB temp, which just stands for uh, Vanilla Skies Block Temporary, because I have to get rid of the sheep eventually. It's going to run the code at the sheep, and it's going to run this function. Oop, sorry, hold on. This one. Vanilla Skies Custom Blocks General Place. Now I'm going to go over to General Place, which is right here. And there's even more going on. First, just the stop sound command to make sure if the sheep tries to make any sound because the sheep can make sound the first ticket is spawned in and then after that it will be silent because i gave it the silent tag but just to make sure i run this stop sound command um then there's different things to um determine whether the sheep is being placed on top of a fence on top of a slab or on top of a regular block and all of these next three lines lines two to four right here are just determining um, what tag to give it, either, either this half down tag, half up tag, or at tag, depending on whether it's on top of a wall or fence, a slab, or on top of a regular block. Once it receives that tag, 
it is going to, um, well, one, if the sheep has the solid tag, which means it can't be placed inside of an entity. So, like, for example, regular blocks like stone and dirt can't be placed inside of the player, but things like saplings, you can place those at your feet. So that would be like a non-solid. So if it's a solid block, it's going to run some code to um, set structure void blocks um, anywhere where, like, the player is... And eventually I'm going to update this to include other entities at re uh, as well, because right now it only does players. But it replaces the air with structure void, so it knows where the players are. And then it checks to see what block is going to be placed there in this place. Composting barrel. So it's going to run the composting barrel place check code. Now let's go to that. This code is going to say... Um, you know, depending on whether it has that at tag, half down, or half up tag, it's going to execute at a slightly different position of where the sheep is vertically. Um, it's going to see if it can be placed there. So if there's an air block or like a grass block or a vine, just any block you can normally place in, water even. If one of those blocks is where the sheep is, then it's like, yeah, you can place the um, place the sheep here. So it runs this um, code. Now, this is also where the structure blocks come in, the structure voids, sorry, because even if um, it seems like there's air there, there's actually a structure void there if the player is standing where the sheep is placed, which means it won't be able to um, pass this part, the if block vanilla sky is placeable in, because... I do not include the structure voids in the placeable in category. Um, then it'll run the placing for the um, composting barrel. Otherwise, it will return the composting barrel just by giving you the item back if it doesn't have the success tag, which it gets from being placed. Then it will um, replace all the structure voids back with air. And then the sheep will die by teleporting into the void. Uh, this is just the code for placing the block, which just summons an armor stand with the custom model on it. Uh, yeah, that's all that is. Um, then it's going to set the block that the model is in to oak planks. So it acts like a wood block. When you try and mine it, you need an axe to mine it. And then it'll give that armor stand, or the sheep rather, um, the success tag. And then this is just the return, which is just summoning the item that I showed in the beginning. Now I'm going to try switching back to Minecraft. There we are. That worked that time. All right. Yeah. So now I'm going to show that all in action. Blah, blah, blah. You can see the sheep and all that code is running really quickly, detecting um, where the um, sheep is, if it needs to be executed up or down, whether on, uh, depending on whether there's a fence or a slab or just a normal block, it is placing the structure voids and immediately getting rid of them. You can't see it, though. Um, you can see that when I try and place it as my feet, it doesn't place. It just gives me the item back. That's the same as things for, like, cobwebs or sea pickles. If I try to place it inside them, you don't actually get to place it. But if I get, like, a fence... Oops, sorry. If I get a fence or a wall or a slab you will see it'll place normally on top of them, just as you'd expect. Um, and yeah, that's really all there is to it. They also break normally. There is some destroying code that um, checks to see if the block it's in is air. And then if so, if there's an item, which means you'd have to be in a game mode survival. If an item spawns in and as a result of breaking it, it'll convert that item to the barrel item. So you don't even see that uh, oak planks item appear because it immediately gets converted to this barrel item. So, because remember that this in reality is an oak block. And when I mine it, it should drop oak planks, but it doesn't because I replace it with the item. There is also one other thing I added, which I'm not going to show because it is a kind of complicated, but... If you try to move the block with a piston, which is very possible, um, it kind of breaks the whole system. So I put in 
um, just this code where it'll break like that, which is just to prevent, you know, quirkiness and stuff. The block will still remain here, but you won't get to um, keep the barrel. It'll just turn into an oak plank. And that's that. Yeah, I know it's a little bit complicated. I don't know how much of it you want to hear, but that is how it works. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully there will be more videos coming out soon. I know, I know that I posted, you know, one two days ago and then one today. Hopefully I can keep up with some level of consistency. If not, I apologize, but yeah. Um, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Bye!